Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Mass Effect 1. Last time we did a bunch of uh, side quests, actually quite a bit, but uh, then we also uh, ended with, oh yeah, uh, we missed a thing where I think it was missing survey team and we didn't completely do the excavation site which leads us here, where I should still be in the system and should be able to land, or one of these planets. One of these planets is correct? Edmos, I think. Wrong Edmos. Uh, I think it's Trepin. Yes. It should be it. To go to the excavation site and properly survey it. I'm just happy, a small aside, as we try to retread our position and head to a proper place again. I am glad of one improvement. In the Knights of the Old Republic, um, the only way to activate some quests was to actually have your... Uh, squad mates with you out on specific planets. So if you want to do a specific quest, then you need to just spam all of your squad mates running up and down these different planets just to, on the offhand chance that this will be the right one to activate the conversation to begin a quest line. I think some of them have multiple like activation points, but if you have, like, a favorite squad mate in Knights of the Old Republic's to Knights of the Old Republic, then at least the first one, you're gonna run into a situation where it's possible that you don't use one character as much, so you might miss the opportunity for quests. But here in Mass Effect so far, it's mostly you just go talk to people on the Normandy and they'll be like, oh yeah, things. Alright, then let's head on inside and see if it will actually proc by going into the excavation site this time. Hopefully the husks don't respawn. That would be mean. Alright, everybody has their preferred weapons. We're heading on in. I'm gonna have my weapon out. I'm just looking around for anything. Anything and everything. Husks or no husks? The music is playing, but it doesn't seem like anything. It said, check out the excavation site. How? We're here. I thought we already checked out everything in the excavation site. That's not what the journal said. This looks like one of the rocks we could survey up on top. Just lead the way. Yeah, I'm sh I, th I thought I was certain that I already There was more? We we, we walked this way. We got into a corner. Damn. I wish I could no scope more. Why did you not run away? Get back up. This accounts for all the Exogeni survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from the Geth territory is a mystery. Yeah, I thought we already came this way. And passed by this door. But hey, thank you, little diddly D journal for... The real question is, who put them on the fucking spikes? Sludge container. Okay, but at least we got a nice surprise. I'm just looking around. No, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh yeah, uh, can I... 
I thought, can I uh, place? I can place them. This way I will actually use them more, maybe. Restores a portion of shields even while you're under fire. That's definitely helpful. These are going to be the ones I mostly use. And I'll leave my allies to use their own abilities more often. But note to self, I'll have to use my allies' coordination a bit more. Because they seem pretty eager to just die. I'm going to stand here with you, Commander. I'm a suicidal idiot. You are meant to be smart. I'm a war hero. All I know is how to... <laughs> now I'm just thinking of that co copy pasta. All girls know is how to post Twitter, eat chip and meme or something like that. Just apply that to me, the war hero. And we leave planet. Alright, now that we're back here... We're up finally. Uh, we're, uh, where are these? Argos Row. Herschel. Kepler Verge. These are... Yeah, just... Hey, you'll find them when you do them. Hey, you'll find them when you do them. Hey, uh, oh nope, that one's we can go back to the... Gibbity D. That one's the other one. Look for signs of battle. Solarian ID tags and League medallions. Valuable minerals. Hostile takeover. Finish the crime lords. Missing, that's go back. Privateers. Go to the Strenus system. Decent amount of Argos Row. Well, let's see. Sorry, writing. Let's turn it. Da -da -da. Well, I guess. Let us go. Oh, yeah, that one's in the Horsehead Nebula. Wait. Hades Gamma Cluster in the Dis system. Oh, wait, no. One is in the Han system of the Gemini Sigma Cluster. Ah, we did the Dis system. Already. <laughs> Find more minerals. Keep searching for minerals. That one's the Argos Row. So yeah, we have a decent amount of things that we can do. But I guess we'll head back to the Citadel for now to turn in some quests. Clear them out of my journal. And then I'll have to decide on where to go next. What other side thingies will want to do while we avoid main quests? Take me to the Citadel. Land. Now the question is, who would I want to bring with me? Is anybody related to any of these? I think I'll just take my normal suspects. I wonder if we'll run into any new quests. I forgot, we have to actually leave the damn thing. Kinda wish I could complete quests from inside the Normandy. Just go to my dibbity D. Say, hello dear people, I am on Normandy. I did the thing, goodbye. Equalizing interior pressure. Let me go. Exterior Let me atmosphere. out of here. I have people to Love. kill. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Or you remind me who you? Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. This is a surprise. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. <laughs> I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. Think of it as an opportunity. I still serve the Alliance, sir. 
As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge Do you know the politician's yours? decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Yeah. She's not over-designed. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had a But this nice allows us to actually do things. Co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to That's make the second time we've heard Commander. boondoggle in Normandy this game. Normandy is an alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Please do. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. If you sabotage anything, I will kill you. Commander, I'm not happy. Sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? It's a Turian design. Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a front line. Fair enough criticism I and to shake my head at that double thing of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? It's useful. useful. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. And this isn't a proper warship. We're supposed it's to find multifaceted. And kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Too many aliens. Krogan? Asari? Turians? <laughs> what are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. They're allies. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Damn it. I'm going to reload and not talk to you, so I can do your full paragon. None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I'd planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. How dare you? I need to level up my diddly D more. I didn't even get anything out of that. Let's see if I can just walk by him. Not talk to him. Because I don't know how to get more charm. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a Spectre and as you earn Paragon points. So I just need to do more quests. I wonder. Where up in the Paragon score meter will I get things? Get more things! Okay, I just did, <laughs> I did a little dance. Put, uh... Tear of Grace's Scatman Wibble Wobble sound over that. He likes to do that when, like, a character just freaks out. And it fits very well. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding I don't officer like it when the game is just like, Presley has the deck. You don't get a do thing. Don't talk to me, don't talk to me. No, I Rear can't. Admiral Mihailovic. Fifth fleet. And I have to go through all this rigmarole. We weren't told to expect Spare me the pleasant. I command and the council got their paws. I still I kind of, it's kind of annoying that you can't access the, the politicians to Divinity D, the ma the, the pause menu during conversation. Be Wait here. Because I have to go through this just to leave and not come back because I can't Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to I hear can't this. do CIC. what I want what to I do. We can. You realize. What are you thinking? You have anything else to say, Commander? None. I'll I wouldn't be as annoyed if I was able to actually go and uh, do what I want. If I could 
just skip him and know that I can come back and do that. Well, off I go to look for more Paragon points, I guess. Off in the universe! Uh, I probably should have looked at my journal. Where should we go next? Where should we go next? I guess to the, uh... Let's see. If we wanted, we could do the Argos Row Cluster and do... Yeah, Argos Row Cluster. With Rex. Meanwhile, this is in Kepler Verge. Can't do that because we can't even get through. Maybe that's why they don't let you teleport from the docking bay to and from the docking bay. People did they didn't want people to just go by him. Gate signs of battle, line of hostile takeover. Let's see. Guess we'll go ahead and finish off the climb the climb wards. Crime Lords in the Han system of the Gemini Sigma sector. I forget. I forget where we were before, and we were like going planet like uh, the Dis system, maybe. But let's see. The Gemini Sigma sector, I do believe. The Han. We will go. Maybe I should have gone Ming. Instead, that way we could explore things, but eh. We can explore Ming after this. I do like the I, the visual of, like, the Rear Admiral guy standing there. Ah, Commander Shepard is here. I'll finally get my time with him, talk with him about what the hell's going on. And then <laughs> Commander Shepard walks out. Sees the rear admiral, walks back in, flies away. It is an amusing thing. Survey. Large of large deposit of beryllium. Ah, we can land on co level two cold hazard. Oh boy. I'll read that after I survey and look at everything else. Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of Paravin revealed an unmanned station in geosynchronous orbit. Your salvage team found no evidence on the uh, origins of the station, but they did find one of the Matriarch Delinica's writings on board. There's just way too much reading. I'll read if it's a landable planet like this, though. Warning! Level 2 Cold Hazard. Mavagon is a small rock and ice planet with a thin atmosphere of ammonia and methane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of tin with deposits of potassium. What is this, the banana planet? The planet has a rudimentary ammonia-based life, mainly concentrated around geothermal vents deep underground. Severe snow, uh, storm cycles are common due to limited visibility and navigation may be difficult. Yeah, but I'll try to do that more and actually read... Uh... Pl like, uh, the stuff about planets we can actually land on. Now I'm wondering, like, uh, has there ever been, like, a character in Mass Effect 1 or 2 that players just hated so much that they don't appear in a, uh, later game? Okay, so we'll want to go... to the left... And down from you. Or up in this case. Looking for surveyables! It's like lunchables, but, but for surveyors. And also, I don't know why, but I keep running into minor audio glitches while I play this game. The most severe was on Eden Prime. But we have run into, like, small audio oddities that flip by so quickly I, I don't usually comment on them. I'm gonna guess that since it's a level 2 cold hazard, that actually getting out, it'll ramp up rather quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna look around for any surveyables that might be possible. Uh, maybe head closer to the corner because you never know. 
Sometimes things are in the corner. Sometimes they put baby in the corner. But it doesn't look like it here. Nope, nothing in the corner. So we'll go along the... The diddly dee this way. Try to get away from the side a bit more to cover more area overall. Once again, kind of debating if I should just look at planetary maps of where surveyable items are. And maybe I'll do that later. Like, uh, go through the majority of the game without knowing where all the surveyables are, but it does seem like a time-wasting measure overall, so kind of annoyed. And then, like, later on, as time goes on, depending, how, like, uh, either how many planets we're on that I feel like I've missed a bunch of surveyables, I might whip out a map and just go, screw it. Or I might just save it for maybe near end game, if it's even possible. I'm not sure if we, like, lose access to some surveyable planets or what. But maybe at some point, I'll just be like, okay, we'll just go on a survey spree. Whip out maps and actually go point to point. Sure, it wouldn't be super fun overall, but... Hey, it's also not fun missing out on content. And that cold does build up. Oi. Give. Cobalt is mine! Alright. Rise, Mako! Rise and fall! It would be amusing if there was, like, a engineer who was super attached to the Mako and would, like, yell at you if you did stuff like that, but then again, that character would get annoying, and people would be like, man, I hope they die in Mass Effect 2. Which brings me back to my original thought I had a few minutes ago, of if, like, a what kind of thing would happen if players just absolutely hated uh, a partner character, and if the, like, a partner character like Rex or Dr. Tassoni were annihilated off the face of the earth for sequel games. Uh, mummified Solarian, so at least I don't have to worry. ID tag recovered. You recovered small, uh, several small artifacts. Among them is an identification tag belonging to Captain Stronaka, one of the Solarian soldiers charged with hunting down the League of One. Also, that doesn't look like a mummified solarian. That looks like a container. Far be it from me to tell solarians what they should look like, but uh, I'm gonna say, not as a container. I'm... Was that, like, a placeholder for the Legendary Edition, where they... Meaning to swap it out with proper mummified body later, or what? Oh, yeah. Heavy metal! No pop tried to kill the metal, but it failed! And we'll just start heading our way over to the debris. Personally, if I were to design something like this, I would intentionally design it so all surveyable objects are easily found on the radar as you go point to point of... of as you go from point of interest to point of interest on the map. That's what I would personally have done. That way, it feels like the player is naturally, 
like discovering it, but at the same time would mean you have to design the map a certain way and try to get players to follow the design and stuff. Yeah. It just feels like this encourages too much random exploration without much substance. Like, if there was more to find, that would be interesting. But I think that's kind of what maybe Andromeda is like. Because I think you use the travel a bit more. You actually travel a bit more in the open world. Crashed probe. Salvage. I did it. I am the victor. Would also be nice if, like, uh... As you went from, like, uh, if you find, like, a crash probe, it would actually show you where all the surveillable things are on the map as it updates your map or something. It's like something to cut down on the, oh, I do hope that I find something, nature of the Mako missions so far. Hopefully these guys aren't terrible and they don't eat us alive. Really, I just hope they don't have biotics. Biotics hurt my soul. Then again, the last time I fought biotics, it was against a whole in solely biotics crew, so... Oh. Oh boy, level up. Wait, Alliance Heavy Turret? Do they steal Alliance technology? Alright, I'm gonna say well first I'm gonna level up, then I'll save. Increases health. Be able to equip medium armors now. And I'll pump two into commando so we can get to immunization. Level up your Electronics for more shield. Let's see. One. One. Now we'll save. Get inside, we must murder. Unless they want to talk about what happened to their friend. Because I'm always down for talking to some criminals. As weird as that sounds. alive. being near that plasma conduit. I 
that's not where I ordered you. Once again, that's not where I ordered you. Works fine, I guess. Nice, if the game would randomly not throw me into cover. some cover. Go to pistol. You're more in Garrus. Second crime lord defeated. The bow from dead, no doubt Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn these two scum are no longer a problem. And I don't even know which one was a crime lord. Form up. No idea which one was a crime lord, I just shot them all on sight. Medkin, huh? I shall med you go. and take that. Oh, wait, what? It said gave med gel zero, but it obviously gave me med gel. I kind of wish that the maps would actually show you basic, like, area geometry. On the minimap. I just think that would be nice. Malfunctioning object. Technician kit. Ooh, average security decryption crate. I did it. I wonder if extra metagel goes to the takeout metagel machine. Or if that's just like infinite metagel. Wetware kit. Gemini amp and prodigy. And medical station. Hmm. Light human armor and medium human armor. I forgot that I could wear hu medium human armor now. A lot of this is kind of ass con uh, compared to the one that I bought. And I still have like a grenade launcher. Uh, no upgrades for that, I guess. Shield bonus. with a bit of tech, but no med recharge. And I'm not sure how good, like, med recharge is. Any good sniper rifles ganged? Two shot and not much extra damage, so not really. I really should get around to selling or churning some of this extra stuff into Omni-Gel, but you never know, I feel like. I guess with that being that, we'll probably head back to the Normandy. Because we found two surveyables. 
which is uh, good enough for me, I think, on this planet. Because seriously, if it's not like en route to something interesting, it's just kind of blah. Be like, oh, I have to go all over the place looking for things. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see. Strenis system, I think we'll head there next. After we go to maybe the men's system. Since we're right next to it. Survey planets, maybe not maybe don't don't go down onto the landable planet of the men system, but survey the planets around men. Ming. For some reason it's like, oh Han and Min. No, it's Han and Ming. Oh, there's a ship here. Survey. Medallion recovered. Scanning the Altenark. Bleh. Excuse me. Altenork revealed something of interest in debris field. Joker brought the Normandy in close, and a small team was able to retrieve a valuable old detritus, including a League of One medallion. Another survey. Light metal surveyed. Titanium. Titanium! Can't land there. I'm going to save before even selecting that because maybe it has to do with something. Uh, do we have anything related to an Worthington? Because he was he wants Argos Row. He wants the Kepler Verge Herschel system. Nothing specific. Go back to the diddly. Nothing specific, nothing specific, nothing specific. Head back and talk to her. Oh wait, we can go to a different place. We can go to, yeah, the Horsehead Nebula. I think we have a few in the Horsehead Nebula. That's back on the diddly. So yeah, Horsehead Nebula. I guess we're heading there next. But with nothing, I'm gonna double save just in case. But with nothing pointing that way, maybe we select the Worthington. The Worthington is a co class modular conveyor of human design. Configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling, the ship appears to be in a shutdown state. The main thrusters are cold and is adrift. Registry, the Morrison Company, Shaxi. Normal team, we head in. Looks like this vessel was abandoned. But why? Everything shut down. Only basic life support is running. A shotgun and rifle. Let's take a quick look. Rifle. Pales in comparison. And shotgun. Well, having a scimitar might be nice. But that tornado ain't too bad either. Keep a sign out. We don't know what could be on this. Ooh, a Krogan and a sniper rifle. Probably not going to be all that good for me. I just want opportunities to activate more uh, Paragon points. Give me Paragon or give me death. Did you hear that? Sounded like footsteps. I'm switching to pistol. There's far too many explosives. That was no accident. The whole place could be a trap. Could it be like a rogue VI? Scared out of its wits. Considering that we haven't even found dead bodies yet. Weapon upgrade, rail extension. Wow. 
would be interesting to continue walking around. Won't. Let's head further into the ship. Well, that's either a dead bod. No, he's alive. Life support. It looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell. We can't help him. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It's your decision, Shepard. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. True to that. Play logs. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. The one thing that has me scratching my head is we heard footsteps. At least Garris did. This has some advanced technology. We'll head to the next room before we decide what to do. Nobody in here. Play the raw. Play the raw. Play the log. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him. And it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless. So damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down. But I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. We'll head into the captain's co well, the cockpit. I guess it technically is kind of. Oh, where? Where? Up there. We'll head into the cap. The, well, again, I say captain's quarters. It's the cockpit, but it might as well be the captain's quarters. I hope there's no bad people in here. No bodies, though. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so Did she we're just going to disconnect like the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about everybody Julia's up there. reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support Yeesh. down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... <laughs> I wonder if there was a way to do that without killing her. Powerful biotic, the girlfriend of the brain dead man in the med bay. Unable to deal with the situation, she eliminated the entire crew in a misguided attempt to keep anyone from shutting off his life support. Now she's dead. Two, and you've solved the mystery. I wonder if we could have found her and talked to her, but she was probably long gone. Turn off. You did the right thing, Shepard. Yeah, if he was brain dead, there wasn't anything we could do. But yeah, kind of made me wonder if we could have gone through all the windingness to find her somewhere in here. But I doubt it. It seemed kind of like, considering that she snuck up on us once we went through that, it seemed like a very straightforward mystery thing. Quote, unquote, mystery. Nothing much we can do. 
derelict it will remain. But I guess next is Horsehead Nebula. Because we have quite a few things in the Horsehead Nebula. I believe. Let me check my journal just to be quick. Because unusual readings in the Argos Row alongside Rex's mission, Strange Transmission, in Hawking Eta of Century. Privateers in Horsehead Nebula, Strenus. Speak to him, speak to her in the Horsehead Nebula, Fortuna. Find more, find more, find more. Citadel, talk to her, Terrain Insignias, find more, find more. That one is Herschel Kepler Verge and Argos Rosso. I guess we'll first do Strenus Horsehead Nebula. Strenus Horsehead Nebula. And then Fortuna. Though I probably should maybe look about talking to the crew some. See if they have anything to say about anything. Survey! Gas deposit, helium-3. But what about helium-4, I continue to say and ask. Only one surveillable planet? All right, two surveillable planets. Medallion recovered. Your scan uncovered an ancient deep space probe slowly orbiting Yunthoral. Tally brought it on board, dismantled it, and found a League of One medallion hidden in its payload. Wait, what? But this is the Strenus. Wish I could go to journal from inside here. Privateers. Go to the Strenus in the Horsehead Nebula and search for signs of Gareth's brothers, of Gareth's brother and his ship. All right, let's try all the planets again. Medallion gotten there. This one is a warning level one cold hazard, but we can't even land there. Yet, at least. Yeah, there's... Nothing here. There's no ship. Especially no ship that's like a... Able to be picked up on this scale. <sighs> we can't land anywhere. Makes me wonder if... Like it's a scripted come here later thing? I don't know. I'm very confused because it said look for his ship, but there isn't anything here. says it's a level one diddly d so we should be able to do something but we can't land I'm just 
trying to think. Because, like, obviously there's... What? 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 I was just, like, doing this because it's just, like... This is a landable planet. Why can we not land on it? It's like, that's the only thing that's standing out to me. They says that the planet... You're telling me that there's hidden freaking objectives like this? Are you kidding me? I'm angry. That annoys me. I'm going to save... Why? I ask. I ask. Goodbye, 69. But I ask... Why is it possible for things to be invisible? I get it. It's like, ah, a spaceship. The Majesty is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of the human design. The ship is derelict. All compartments are exposed to space. The fusion planet, uh, fusion plant is leaking. The damage is consistent with ship mounted mass accelerator fire. Private owner, Captain Willem. A faint trail of radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a sublight nuclear engine drive, leads towards the nearby planet of Zawan. I knew that there was something. It was like, oh, meh. okay. <laughs> That's weird to me. It has a cold warning, which obviously means that we were gonna run into something here. And then the game is just like, oh yeah, look to the left. I understand why, because it's scale-wise, you couldn't see anything on the map, but. Still, would be nice. Mercenary camp, anomaly, anomaly, lots of anomalies. We'll head to that anomaly. Whoop, boop, 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 I guess. I'm just, I'm kind of annoyed by that. Ever so slightly. I guess it's kind of nice of them to put a lull cold warning anyway, but... Uh, how are you supposed to know to scan like that? Wrong button. Like, no one in their right mind would scan like that. Discovery. It appears a person was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died or was killed. Considering the state of that, either really bad, or have been here a long time. Heavy metal! Well, that's what you get for not surveying with a Mako. Oh. Oh yeah, we I forgot that. I'm already forgetting my own plans. Maybe he was killed by a Wampa. Or whatever the Yeti thing from Star Wars is. That actually took damage. Huh. Another reason never to touch space bar on this thing. I can do a flip, but not really. And there's a thing near this one, too. Apparently. Fuck. Once again, hate the controls on this thing. kind of variety too. Tentacle man. Why is your aim so freaking good? That's my question. Just 
so good at actually surviving, or not surviving, but shooting me. Come out and fight me. Yes, I know I'm healing, but I should still be able to shoot. I hate you. I should be able to shoot. Why can't I do nothing while I'm healing? Oh, we don't want people to hit heal mid-combat. But that is literally the only time where you would heal. <laughs> it is literally the only time that you would ever heal. Is mid-combat. So making it harder to do combat just feels silly to me. Kind of interesting that the point of interest doesn't appear. I don't want to accidentally use. Once again. Oi! Really wish that the game would actually, like, keep the uh, diddly D in the same area. Like, if you go up and you get hit, you return to the same outer ring area that you, uh, started from. Or at least, like, the outer rim, the, the outer rim circle, that's like, uh, the opposite of where your pointer is, to kind of account for like, turning or something, I don't know. Recover artifact. At least this one is easy. Insignia recovered. This fragment appears to be from an old freighter, uh, yeah, model freighter. Part of it is marked with the Chati Outpost insignia. I guess we'll head to that anomaly and then the mercenary camp. Then again, I really shouldn't be that annoyed with combat right now with the Mako, because I do have an abundance of Omni-Gel I could make. I just kind of choose not to. Because I'm a hoarder. Hoarders! Video Game Edition. You have 45 elixirs. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like a... What's the, the video joke? It's like, use an elixir, but they're a rare resource. It's the end of the game, but I only have 45 of them. Light metal. I'm just... I just want... more... Paragon... stuff, because it seems like... Because you obviously need more Paragon to activate the dealy for the dude, and I can't walk by him. Really. Die, death. What are you doing here? Knock him over. Can I turn it off? The answer is no. People will be lured into this geth trap for uh, ages to come. And they all will die. Did I look at that? I don't think I looked at that. So go ahead and look at it. I didn't expect a Geth trap to be here. Why would the Geth just leave random traps? Yes, we the Geth shall... Put a random frickin' beacon on an ice planet. Okay. What 
One of these days we're gonna end up... Discovery. There appears to be no one left at this camp. The generator is still functioning, but there is no signs of former occupants. The camp's computer notes several locations of entrance. Alright, so... One. One place of interest. But still, more of this. More finding of things that point me in direction, please. Maybe on their way to actually survey the mineral, the, pi the mercenaries got him. I do find it kind of funny that it's like, oh yes, the evil mercenary camp. Even though we're basically mercenaries at this point, sure, we're serving the Alliance and the Council as a Spectre, but we do a bunch of side deals. We're the kind-hearted mercenaries. We don't play by no rule book. The only rule book we play by is our own. It's totally uneven. <laughs> Let me leave my car. See, this is the uni the the future that Tesla wants. You to not be able to exit your car, so Elon Musk can come and eat you. I would totally buy that Elon Musk is a cannibal. He's too insane to not to be. But now we head... I'm gonna guess that that's a turret. But we'll wait till we get closer. So I don't accidentally fire on some... Nope, that's evil. Thank you, Minimap. Take that turret out in the open. That's easily snipable from any direction. Something shot at me. Failed. Failed like anything trying to destroy the metal. Yay, level up time. Get out of here. You try to snipe me, I'm in a tank. I'm in a tank. I'm in a tank. Alright, let's head into the pirate base. Hopefully you aren't like... Uh, then again, I think this game is smart enough to be like... Uh, allow you to like kind of mix and match abilities of doing things. Like if you find a quest one way, they'll allow you to find it another way. Just that kind of diddly dee. Max shields for you. More basic armor. I really should actually go over the things that I find every now and then. AI, if you will actually listen to me. I feel like the AI doesn't like listening to my commands. Get into cover. Get into cover. Get into cover. Cover! Why is the... Why does it feel like the AI are both acting... 
on the same button presses when they really shouldn't be. Why? Why is the AI so dumb? Get into fucking cover! I can't make it. Dumbass. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now, if you two would actually follow my damn commands my and get into cover. 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 Cover! Cover. Get into goddamn cover. Why is AI fucking dumb? Fine, my... I don't know why the AI just doesn't want to actually get into proper shooting mode. You must die! Dumbass. Wasn't really pointing at them. Well, actually. Down. You must die. You must die. You must Kelly die! Ran. To me, allies. Mercenary sniper. I lost contact. Clear. And I got the achievement Recruit. Kill 250 enemies in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. Kind of nice of them to kind of condense some of the achievements onto each other. So it's not just like, haha, you fool, you didn't do everything in all games. They kind of condensed it all down. Something is added to the codex there. Oh shit, I think I missed my opportunity. Never mind. Once again, hate that it's. Oh uh, yes, my favorite starting point, not being able to do anything from fucking here. I just hate that, because <laughs> it's just like a waste of time. There's no consequences for failure. Captain Willem. Anomaly identified. You have discovered the corpse of Captain Willem of the MSF Majesty. His stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. You've discovered what happened to Willem Gareth's brother. Turn to Citadel to tell Gareth of his fate. Wow, I w really wish I could do that, but there's an asshole who's in my way, so I can't go anywhere because I need more Paragon points to do the entire conversation. I'm sure the game's like, oh, you don't need to worry about it, but then why would you, like, have it be there? At that point, you might as well just not have the conversation options appear at all. It's just hee hee ha ha. You can't do this conversation to its fullest potential. So now we mock you. We mock you and say, oh, why don't you do it? Baba Booey.
Why do you not do? I guess I could do, like, story objectives, too, to maybe try and worm some Paragon into things. Or maybe I missed Paragon opportunities. Talk to Garab. Talk to Koaku. Meet Helena Blake. Well, to the Fortuna system. Please, oh, please, oh, God, oh, please. So, yeah, this is just a three system. To Fortuna. We'll survey everything, and then... Okay, we don't want to land, but we'll... I forgot to read... No, did I read? I think I read the last uh, fiddly thing that we could actually deal with. Turian insignia recovered. While scanning the planet of Magnolus, you discovered the remains of a damaged research vessel. Your recon team found no sense of survivors, but they did bring back a Rokum outpost insignia. Rare element found! Plutonium. And once more, we shall save before landing on the planet and probably going to war. Please give opportunity for, uh... I forgot to read Amaranth. Damn. But what can I say? It's easier to just be like, oh, I can land and go. Especially if the text takes time to load in as opposed to the land button. Is this another? Nope, it is not another. Oh, hey. Let's see if we can head to that surveyable element. Always nice to have opportunity for surveyable element right out the gate. On a planet that's not trying to kill me. Wait, what? Ah, there you are. Iridium deposit. Ho ho ho. Heavy metal! And we'll keep on going that way. Will you turn properly, you stupid ignoramus of a machine? Sometimes I feel like I have the controls under. Other times it's just not. I kind of wish that the movement was more dictated towards vehicle pointing. Like, if I was going this way, I kind of feel like double you should continue moving forward that's just my personal preference like what my brain goes to war another worm this feels like a worm arena a thing right there that I want to get to kind of open space salvage time Polonium and kinetic buffer. Well, polonium rounds and kinetic buffer, but you know what I mean. Once again, game, game. I hate the controls of this damn thing sometimes. Because I just want to turn and go that way, and the game was like, okay, we're going to do a 360. Because why have intuitive controls when it can be all based around ass mouse movement? Because you know, when you want to be on the move fighting worms, you totally want to have to reorient which button you're pressing at all times. It's just a small thing that's ever so slightly taking away my soul. Recover ancient debris. We're gonna make a mini game that's best played with the keyboard. And then we're gonna make it annoying to select the thing with the keyboard. Turian insignia recovered. You found an intricate beaded necklace marked with the uh, Galatana colony insignia. It appears to be very old. And 
now to the engineering bay. Where Helena totally won't betray us. probably save while I'm down here after I did all that and going into a potential damnation. Well, there doesn't seem to be any turrets or pirates around. But, once again, feels like a worm arena. But at the same time, I think worms, uh, worms actually have points of interest over them. Let's see. War or no war? Generator at the doorway. Hello ah! again, Commander Shepard. Here's a gun. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I'm not done yet. I killed them because they deserve it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. I'm going for Paragon. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. God damn it! Another you, you don't have enough. Give me more opportunity for Paragon, then! You're under arrest, so we'll I. go to okay. war. And now I'll load again because I don't get to play game much because er, you need to f fail at opportunities to do the thing that you want. Blah, I hate that. Give me more opportunities to do the thing. Or don't tell me. You bastard of a game. Utterly hate that. I literally hate that so much. Let me do Paragon stuff. Mm. Mm. Choices matter, but your anomalous morality rating matters more. Hate. Well, let's go to the Argos Rogue Cluster. Because, like, if it was just, oh, hey, you need to put more things into this point thingy, fine. I could do that and just focus on it. But then the game gets pissy. Ugh, you haven't done enough Paragon things. So we're not gonna give you the opportunity to level up your charm. So you're not going to be able to do what you wanna do. Why are you angry? Just let me play the damn game! Terrain insignia recovered. Scans of planet Canram reveal dangerous levels of radiation coming from orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted further scans and discovered the remains of an ancient warhead marked with the Parthia colony insignia. Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call. The sacred angel medical transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. We only got that when we were in the Argus Row. Communications failing. Life support, emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Level 2 heat hazard. One second, we're not done surveying. But let's go. Metgos is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements con constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metgos is inhospitable and dangerous, and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. With its high mass, heat trapping clouds, and constant volcanic venting, Metgos seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian pressure cooker world. And then after this, I'll need to remember to try and talk to my crew. But yeah, I'm just annoyed that so far, all of my opportunities for more Paragon is, sorry, you don't have enough Paragon to be Paragon. And it's just like, then why is this available? 
why can I do if I cannot do? Because I just want to play the game and choose the paths that I want. But the morality system is a stat system, so you have to fucking jungle things so much. And despite the fact that they Im knowingly implemented that, they restrict pausing and saving during conversations. So even if you're like, hey, I just realized that I can't do this conversation the way I want. Can I please reload? Sorry, you have to go through the entire conversation. It's just annoying. What? I did not double tap that. Screw you. Turian Insignia recovered. While searching the wreckage, you found a very old letter stamped with the Gothis Colony Insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. But yeah, that's basically my stance. Either give me more opportunities for getting Paragon points, or make it so that it's impossible to miss out on, like, Paragon or Renegade points. Just, like, make it so that when I play the game, I won't have to juggle this much. Maybe they do expect you to do more, like, main mission stuff, but... A lot of people want to play the side stuff because we don't know if going forward in the main game stuff might lock stuff out in the side stuff. So it's just like bleh. Can't do that quest, can't go back to... Th That's another thing. Fuck having a morality restricted conversation at the fucking Citadel docking port without a way to get around him. I vehemently hate that. Vehemently hate it so much with all of my hatred. Like, if it'd be one thing if it was just... Here is a conversation that you can't do yet because you want to do it a specific way and you need more Paragon points. That would be one thing. But no, the game explicitly is like, oh, by the way, you can't enter this entire area, the entire hub area, because we put a conversation that is morality dependent. Especially when it's just like, the things that you have Shepard say when you go Paragon aren't even really that Paragon of things. It's just... Common sense. It's not Shepard be going above and beyond of being goody goody or below and dastardly renegade. It's just we felt like locking conversation stuff behind morality system. Oh, by the way, you can't go play Quasar anymore until you do this conversation. Wait, why are you leaving the Citadel? Come back. I hate. I am full of hatred. I just want to do side quests and stuff. And then they make it harder and harder to do side quests while not really making it easy to get Paragon like points. Coming from that wreckage. Careful, man. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, and I have a feeling there's surveyables over here. Surveyable! Once again, really wish the driving was done better. Yeah, it's a trap. Wish I could get like uh, morality points by shooting Geth. If I can't. Oh, hey. Flying Geth. And 
then it blows up anyway. But I wanted to read you. And unless I'm gonna like dive over that way, looking for things that probably aren't there. I'm done with this planet. All I'm looking for is conversation so that I am a paragon in this game. That is all that I want. You want to do side quests? Too bad. This side quest requires morality, and you're not moral enough to have morality yet. Go do more stuff. Oh, by the way, we're gonna make it hard to do stuff. Because we're gonna lock off the biggest hub area of the game behind yet another conversation that is morality locked. Because fuck you. It's just so annoying. Where we go. All I want is opportunities to get Paragon. But the game doesn't let me get Paragon points. Maybe this is, I think I heard somewhere while it was just like, hey, general tips and stuff for Mass Effect. I think I heard whispers that it's possible that you finish some quests aboard the Normandy at some point. Like actual side quest stuff, I think. So maybe in th they learned, oh, people are annoyed that we made Looking it impossible to go to the hub area for, hu for side quests. It's just like, gee, who would have thought making it hard to play the game would make people annoyed with the game? Utter lunacy, I know. Whoever would have thought that would happen? Never! It's just utterly shocking. Commander, I... What can I do for you? What's the matter? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn Geth. Oh, don't worry. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. And he won't. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Hmm. Are you worried? I understand your concern. But we'll find it. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? Of course. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Hmm. What are you saying? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well... Maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Last resort. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. Think about it. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. I want more parry guns. Shepard. Goodbye. So long, Rick. Shepard. Commander? How we doing? What's your opinion on the I'm line? not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. I think she's being... 
too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. We'll talk later, Lou. Looking forward to it, Skipper. All right, so. Not much to worry about there. We'll talk to Tally, see how she's doing. Hey, Tally, how you doing? It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? <laughs> we haven't even done any missions. Like, actual missions. I hope it so. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. An important part. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. You're welcome. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Always nice to talk with the crew. Just right now, I'm hopped up on I want Paragon points. I want Paragon points. I want to do more of the game. By getting more Paragon points. Because it just feels like an arbitrary wall. That's just there for no reason. Like, again, maybe I should just go do more main missions. But then, at the same time, it's just like I shouldn't have to grind stuff in main missions, in my opinion. Like, I'm not sure what the balance is, because you don't want people to just be able to immediately go one way, full speed. But at the same time, choices matter RPG, where choices aren't mattering, because I can't do anything. Again, what was the one for this one? What was the one for this one again? I think it was... Oh, yeah, the... Yes, no, uh... Yeah, I thought there was another thing. But I guess that was that down here. The distress call, I guess it was. It might have been called something else. Might have changed, I don't know. But next is Rex's family armor in the Argos Row cluster. So it just says that it's somewhere in here. Probably in Phoenix. Phoenix! So let's head over to Phoenix. And this time we head down with Rex. Tuntau is an enormous low-density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium. Despite being nearly 20 AU from Phoenix, the star's great heat and insulating thickness of the atmosphere make the surface surprisingly temperate. The crust is mainly composed of sodium and silicon dioxide with deposits of various light metals. While Tuntau is not habitable, the relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make a popular location for small ships traveling through the Argus Row Cluster to land and drive discharge. We're not going to land there just yet. We're going to survey. Rare element, Samarium. Wait, we went over a thing. That bothers me, because now I feel like I have to do this. This asteroid is emitting a weak intermittent signal at frequency da da radius da da da. Prothean data disk recovered. I forgot to read that, damn. There's so many hidden things. Well, let's go ahead and land.
We'll take Rex and Garrus with us. Since this is the only other place I can think of. For... Because this is the Argus Road Cluster, right? This is the right place. Hidden structure. I'll kind of zoop around to that. Dat, dat. <laughs> Rex and Garrus equal bro squad. Indeed. So for me, I've been mostly running Tally Garrus. Favorite alien squad there. <laughs> Since there is a hidden structure, I'll assume that this is the right place for Rex's little mission. Which, huzzah! All I hope is that we get the ability to Paragon our way out so I can get more Paragon points and actually enter the Citadel again. My brain just gets hung up on that, and I hate it. Let's see. Yeah, I'll drive about, see if we can find any surveyable thingies. Because that's one of the great things, the great joys of this world. Finding rocks to survey. Commander Shepard, survey master. He cares not for the war. He only wants to protect more rocks to survey. Time to begin the bypass. And hopefully not scream. Yay, no screaming today. And then we will place that. Over to the anomaly we go. Up and over the mountain. In our moon buggy. Aha, survey rocks! We have done it! So long as we find one rocks worth surveying a planet, it is worth it to me. Still probably means I'll have to look up maps of planets to double check and be like, put my mind at ease. My forever, oh no, I probably missed one pair of rocks out there. They probably hit them well. Lulled me into a false sense of security. A whole deposit of the planet Mercury. Impressive. And now... To the hidden structure we go! To get an old family heirloom back. And maybe talk our way out of things. And get Paragon points. Commander Shepard, he cares not for the bloodshed and the war and the pain and misery of the universe. All he cares about is being seen as a good man. Even at the cost of all else. Why are you negotiating with a terrorist? I want to make sure that he thinks I'm his friend. The first moment that Shepard meets a Reaper. Hello, Mr. Reaper. I shall go Paragon today. The Reaper does not understand. It is scared. Ah, well at least we get to kill some things today. I do find it kind of funny. I am a good person. I am a paragon. On the map shows enemy contacts on the horizon, but I will still snipe people with my tank.
fear me and my tank sniping power. Ah! Huh, interesting. Let's try it again. Ah! And now? I forgot that I haven't used you in forever and you have so many points. I'm sorry, my friend. Read everything again to make doubly sure of things. Definitely want to increase your combat armor a bit. And up shotguns a bit. Assault rifles for range. Definitely give you some fitness as well. We want your health up. in barrier. Might as well max you out while we can. More shotgun. And I guess put the rest into fitness. I completely forgot that I haven't used you in forever. I'm sorry, my 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 dear friend. I just got locked into I want to use my favorite aliens. And now This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. And we'll find it. After killing a ton of people, probably. We're gonna get swamped from enemies in a moment, aren't we? Or maybe they're hiding. Maybe they already know. It feels like they already know. Die! Come out and poke out. Poke out! Poke out! Poke out, coward! Poke out! See? That's why you don't poke out. You just stand out eternally, knowing that they can't touch you. Will you actually get into cover? That's not where I told you to go, Garrus. I told you to go over there. Okay, you just tanked a lot of my bullets. Well, doesn't look like we're gonna be talking out this. We could have talked. But no, I must snipe you to death. If your employer's dead, give up. I think you've gotten the way of my bullet, Rex. Come on. Stop running around like a coward and die like a coward instead. And one final enemy above, from the looks of it. not survive. I exist. It's like a take on All Might's I am here. You're all gonna die because I exist. I'm like a walking bomb. And here I thought this kind of quest would have some kind of conversation. There was no conversation. Begin the override. Override has been done. This is it. 
I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece <laughs> of crap. But at least I've got it back. That's great. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Rex touches his grandfather's armor, his expression, thoughtful perhaps. Krogan are hard to read. Then he shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. And I guess next we will do Garrus's mission. Because it might give them a bit of a bonus. I guess this might, in fact, let me take a look. Nah, I thought it was going to increase his uh, battle master like available level. But from the looks of things, no. Let's see. We'll worm our way up. Could finish Spectre training. But I'll put it up a little bit. More in Sniper. And finish off my electronics. Let's see, anywhere else to go? There is a room down here. The little door green thingy was kind of blocked. So it looked like a, a, a wall. And not a door. I definitely need to go over need to go over my equipment and stuff. That was like a wall of red, and I still made it through, because I'm awesome. What level am I? I'm level 15! I am halfway leveled, and all I've been doing is side quests. Yay. I wonder if the rear admiral guy showing up at the citadel is like a level thing. It's entirely possible it could just be a level thing. And I've just been going too fast. Too fast, too furious. Alright, let's see. Doesn't seem to be... Any weapons that are... Superior to my gun. This one's the exact same gun. I have a lot of tornadoes, apparently. The Edge 6 is a little bit better than the Edge 4. I just want a slightly better gun. Alright, Striker 4 seems, or Striker 5 seems pretty decent. Because I don't want to go below 3. Nope, it's triggered by an event, I believe. Ah! So at least my... <laughs> my morality... wall... would have shown up either way. One of these days, I'll get past you, morality wall. I guess I'll put that on, because why not? Is there any armor... that I care to put on? That one's actually a pretty decent boost. Everything but tech biotic protection. Yes. Yay, yeah, slightly different uh, texture. I've been having. I've had that one texture for like all the time I've been playing this game. I upgraded my armor once and twice, got the same texture those two upgrades, and finally, third upgrade's the charm. Yep, next I guess we'll do uh, Dr. Diddly Do. Might as well name this episode, this stream, Neon Searches for Paragon Points. But let's see. He is off in the Diddly Dee Herschel System Kepler Verge. Go ahead and level up my boy. Herschel System Kepler Verge. 
Kepler Verge. Kepler Verge! Newton. Herschel. We'll go ahead and do Herschel, then we'll glance around Newton. I've been reading and just like uh, digging into too much Pokemon fan stuff because I could have sworn Newton was Newtu, which is the fan name for the replacement goldfish Mewtwo they added in one of the anime movies, I do believe. Because copyright law is weird. Yeah, just looking for any surveyables because there's way too much to read in the universe. The, uh, the Fidel is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. In addition to standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Registry, private owner, Dr. R. Hart. You're dead. You're, you're dead, foo. Garrus is coming. Well, maybe not dead. It is possible that he will want to, uh, to murder us. I hope that there is a potential paragon route for this. Wrong button. We must level you up a bit. Go ahead and level up your basic armor a bit. And I guess we'll start uh, leveling up your shotguns. And we'll save again because I leveled you up and probably should have done that and then saved, but I'm dumb. Dr. Hart, I'm here to uh, talk you down from your suicide. Let's see if the AI will actually take cover. Oh, they actually took cover. It's a miracle. And they're going about look, moving anyway. I think I need to change to... Eyes' health. Great, you are now poisoned. My favorite thing in the world. Die, test subject! Okay, maybe this will mean that Dr. Hart, Mr. Irony Man, will be a coward and will finally give up. But it looks like the hostages are dead. Which is sad. Proves Garrus right. And we don't want to reinforce his negative thoughts. Locked. Oh, this one's open. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Who are you? Commander, that's him. Ah. That's Dr. Saleon. <laughs> Dr. What? Subject, My name is exactly. Hart. Dr. Hart, please get me out of here. You certain? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Back down, Garrus. We'll take him in. Drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. Think, Garrus. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. What? And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? <laughs> I was confused there for a moment. I'll tell you. You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end... That's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Cillion's uh, medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species, pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. I didn't even really think he did anything. He just started running. He didn't even shoot. <laughs> So it looks, so like, if I didn't get that exposition, I would have thought that 
somebody shot, but I think it was Tally. Tally was the one to take him down. Which amuses me greatly. Dang it. Aha, I did it. I didn't mean to do that, but oh well, I guess. I do have enough things to just, like, grind down into Omni-Gel anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Any reason that we can come into the cockpit? Doesn't look like it. Interesting. Most of the time, if there isn't anything in that place, you wouldn't do anything. I am a little bit annoyed that so far all my decisions haven't really had much of an effect, it feels like. It feels like I had more of an effect with the gambling tool thing. Say yes or no to gambling. Well, more like gambling cheating. What's that? You you try to be a good paragon? Too bad, you, you don't get to. At this rate, I'm gonna have to go do main quests just to see if I can try and get Paragon points. Well, let's see, what's in the journal docket today? What do I want to do? If we want, we can head to the Hawking Ita Cluster. A sentry system. For that, try and find that biotic commune. Can't do that because he's on the Citadel. Can't do that because he's on the Citadel. Can't do that because I don't have the Paragon points to actually complete the conversation the way I want. But once again, on the Citadel. Well, no, no, the, wait, the, the wrong Asari one. Asari diplomacy, not writings. Writings is just random. So, yeah. I guess we'll go to the Biotic Commune, Century System Hawking, Eden's Cluster. But first, I'll go talk to my boys, since we completed their... Well, uh, wrong, wrong place entirely. Why can't I just hollow vid them? Call them up. I am in space. You are also in space. Here's the completion of your quest. That is all I want. But it is unavailable to me. Shepard likes to complete things Command. face to face. Good to see you. Oh. No conversation. Looking for supplies? Let's see what I'm you looking think. for your blood. He probably wouldn't even miss a beat. Once again, kind of wish it would show the relevant, like, oh, this is armor only for one party member. We'll show that party member, but I guess, meh. 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 Slowly but surely, we'll get you eventually, my pretty. But while we're down here, we'll go ahead and, like, go through the equipment. Let's see. I have a better combat scanner. Not even sure if combat scanner is all that good. I just like the idea of seeing enemies that are trying to hide from me. Wait. Do I have incendiary in you? I, it's been so long I forgot that I put those in. I thought I put weapon head. Uh, yeah, that in. Hammerhead. Bippity bop. Bippity bay. Ooh. That seems super. I'll give it to Tally. Because she's my pistol goer right now. Duke. Have stiletto. Upgrade your game. It really should give you stuff. Let's see. Shield bypass. 12 damage a second. Uh, yeah, incendiary rounds, I guess. And then I guess you can <laughs> offset that accuracy with better accuracy. We'll continue with the katana. Now I'll look at Garrus. Let's 
see. High caliber barrel. It's more damage, but let rate of fire and heat absorption. I guess I'll give you that since it's basically the same, but with less downside. And then I guess I'll give you polonium. I need to give you a better sniper. That Let's see. Give you that and that. Cause why not? We'll build you up yet, my boy. But then I think We'll look at the other systems of this here cluster, and then we'll go to the biotic commune. I suppose. And Give it up for save a hundred and two. Just hope there aren't any, like, invisible, hidden ones there. Yeah, this is only a dual system, so we'll go to Nutu. Hey, get ready to get yeeted. I wonder what that means. Oh, I guess because the biotic Message commune, maybe. Patching it through. Because I do, I, I went to a... Troubling information well, listen to this and then talk about Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. How can I help? I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. That can't be a coincidence. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Well, yeah. I remember walking into the, oh, this CEO guy uh, was being held hostage. And I, like, walked onto the ship and was getting blasted by biotics. I'm just like, flopping around like a fish. Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of the planet to Klinkori revealed the cockpit of Volus uh, Velis trading vessel. There are no signs of the rest of the ship, but the salvage team discovered one of the Matriarch Delinica's writings in the ship systems. That's a random place for writings to be found. Gas deposit. Hmm. On term. We can land here, but I'm not sure if it, like, has any meaning yet. Though Antarum's surface is uncomfortably uh, hot, its nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, and abundant shallow seas make an ideal candidate for habitation by most known species. Unfortunately, the orbit of the moon of Thonil has uh, been slowly decaying since the system coalesced. Its proximity is beginning to have tidal effects, and its dynamo-like revolution through Antarum's magnetic field is generating increasing powerful electrical storms. While some of the, uh, while some have suggested emplacement of mass effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon and correct its orbit, the scale of such a project, tens of thousands of drives, costing enough to bankrupt the governments of all the citadel races, make it a pipe dream. A multiracial effort is underway to catalog and preserve the unique genetic diversity of Antarum's vibrant young biosphere. Exogenicore and high end genom uh, genomics represent the alliance's share of the effort. But we'll quickly go to the journal to read about this new here diddly dee. Dead scientists, where? Newton system. <laughs> I guess because they're like, well, you're already in the system. Look into it, please. I just wanted to make sure. Because if I didn't have any need to go to a planet, it just feels like diddly deen about. Confirm my squad. C -c Confirm my squad. Time to touch grass, team. Yeah, I guess we'll just take the simplest route. 
All this grass, it's causing me to lag. That's the true defense mechanism of this planet. Or maybe it's just me. And my sis my uh, Mako system is like, tries to go fast, everything goes slow instead. Time to kick grass. Would be very difficult. I don't want to kill you, so don't be hostile. So I don't think we'd even get anything if we tried. Turian corpse. Recover artifact. Grave robbing. My favorite pastime. Turian insignia recovered. Because it's on a dead Turian. I see you're a genius. It's unclear what happened to this Turian. He had an ancient paper book with Bostra outpost insignia printed on its cover. Still getting... I'm never going to get used to the Mako's driving. Quite honestly, I think they're going to remove the Mako in one of the sequels before I get used to its controls. But we shall fly across the grassy mountain plains. Hopefully not getting struck by lightning. That would be very bad. We don't even have a Pikachu. That's the only way to fight electricity. A Pokemon. We must fly. Fly and rise. To the destination of destinations. Ah, uh, great. There's an angry enemy over there. Crashed probe. Reveal thy secrets. Dang it. I got... <laughs> I thought I stopped one before it. And then, I did not. Well, underground facility. Who am I going to have to kill today? You're all getting ready to shoot at me. Hmm, there's still one hiding. Hiding behind that water tower. And speaking of water... Remember to stay hydrated. I think Garrus actually said that. Somebody did. In this game. Ooh, surveyable rocks! That takes precedence over pirates. Rocks. 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 We must get to the rocks. The underground facility will remain there forever, but these rocks can disappear any time! Rocks. 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 I did it. Rocks. 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 These controls hurt my brain! I kind of loathe these controls. Looky, base controls her brain. But now we will go into the underground. Sonic Underground. We will have to fight illegal experimentation hedgehogs. The most horrifying thing in the universe. Well, I'm gonna guess that whoever is uh, doing the thing of the murder is already here, killing, and we need to stop it. 
Maybe Paragon time. Give me Paragon time? I'd love it to be Paragon time. I will always be down for Paragon time. Paragon time. It's like cocaine for, for Commander Shepard. A time to be Paragon? I need my Paragon time, man. Aha! Take that, mercenary! Die! Die! I think I got shot by something, and I don't like it. This is all terrible. Some enemies stay behind and fight smart. These guys go crazy. I thought we were going to die there of how much they were bum rushing. But no, they just decided to die. Good for them. Give me all of that. Give me all of that. All of the rewards belong to me. Damn it. Ah. That opening was a godsend. Thank you. All these dead bodies, and none of them were made by me. Feels wrong. Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! A Mr. madman! Tombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Tombs! You don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes out! Let me help you. What all comes out? I'm listening. But I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. And that's why you're pointing a gun at I, someone. I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. So you want to kill people. Can't you see the tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What happened? What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. Q, Attack on Titan were meme here. Them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What do you mean? What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Tooms. <laughs> he doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial! Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or God not? God damn it. Why just give me more Paragon attempts? Let's make this public. I can arrest him. He'll answer for his crimes in court. Weren't you listening? He was part of a secret organization. 
I don't know what Cerberus is, but they'll never let their operation become public. This is the only way. Are you helping me, or are you killing me? Well, guess I'm gonna have to reload a save. I can't let you murder him. I'm sorry. I... I thought I was dead. Thank you. Here, for your trouble. I don't think I'll ever forget that madman's face. Not so fast. Save the story for the jury. You're going to jail, Doctor. But you can't do that! You've earned a lot worse. It's better than you deserve. Joker, let the Fifth Fleet know we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Toom's dead eyes are still pinched of frustration and rage. The scientist's eye in the corpse of distaste dabs his face with a cloth. For better or for worse, the situation is resolved. And I'm gonna have to reload, because once again... What do you mean that's Renegade? Screw you! All I want is the ability to earn more Paragon points. And the game is like, okay, but now we're gonna make it so you can't access certain Paragon choices to earn more Paragon points, and it all hurts. It's all his agony. Hey, we want you to go do this thing. Sorry, I can't. Why not? Paragon! And I can't be it! Ah! I can't do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. That's just here. Well, we're off to the commune we go! Hakinita Sentry System. Ah! Maybe we can pick up some Wookiees. To yodel away my rage. Hawking Eater. Hawking Eater. Hawking Eater. We have just this century system. Time to face a bunch of biotics and fly around like a goon. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise. The Alliance needs you again. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hawking Eta cluster. He's Major Kyle. He's a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Maybe you're overreacting. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. Maybe they're holding them Their hostage. The compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Kyle's followers? You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible Unfortunately, for space comma. We can't let him go on like this. Missing Alliance officers. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. That's why we Doing label him crazy. Line, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. And Major Kyle himself. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. Maybe I can reason with him. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. That you assume. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. You assume that he killed them. You have no proof. Light metal discovered. Huzzah. Medallion recovered. Well, scanning the planet for a pot. Far... Opat Tharopto 
You discovered a tiny moon with some odd readings. Further scans by Chief Engineer Adams revealed a destroyed escape pod. Your salvage team recovered the components of, uh, and found a leak of one medallion. Now every single time I see a blah, 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 that's a moon, I think we can actually look at the planet. But it's not surveyable. Down to the planet we go. I forgot to... well, moon. Forgot to read the moon stiddly again. Except squad. My, my normal squad. We go to the moon. And I pray to God since, that since this is one of the first side quests that we can get in the game, that it's going to be a low bar for gathering up uh like it'll have a low morality thing that I can do and not have to be like oh sorry you need to be in the 75 to 100% charming range yeah I figured yeah <laughs> Luckily, this far away, I can kind of game the system. Even though I can't see your health, I don't need that. I game your auto aim. I game your. Oh, no. now you're doing this? Give me your money. Booyah. Now that I've gotten the hand of those, those aren't terrible, but man, are they a noob trap. And also, that's the thing that poor Tombs ran into, probably on foot. Yeah, screw Cerberus. But I'm kind of annoyed. I'm still kind of annoyed that it gave me renegade points for the outcome of that. You didn't have the ability to actually go full Paragon, so you get renegade points for trying to uphold peace as much as possible. I wonder what was the renegade part? Arresting the scientist? I didn't feel like there was anything renegade about it. Unless... Unless they wanted me to wait until Tombs shot the scientist to shoot back? I don't know. That's the kind of thing... Discovery. Yeah, I, I discovered eternal mud. The cluster of prefab utility shacks have a distinctly ramshackle look to them. A set of rover tracks lead away over the mountain ridge to the southwest. That's not what I meant to do. I wish I could read that again. Ramshackled off to the south west. So let's see if that's north, south, north. So they went that way? I guess they went to the des uh, the anomaly. That's all I can glean from it. To the anomaly. Over the ridge into the doom. There's something down there. But we're heading down there too. To our doom, probably.
Ancient debris. That's already been surveyed. We're stealing somebody else's survey. Turian insignia recovered. Digging under a beacon revealed the piece of scrap metal, likely from a very old freighter. It was marked on one side with a Macedine outpost insignia. Well, at least we found you. Discovery. The front of the rover is crumpled from an impact. A glance inside tells you the occupants, probably a team of illegal, illegal wildcat miners, are dead. Debris is still sliding down from the furrows left by its tires, silent in the near vacuum atmosphere. So what does that mean at all for anything? It's just discovery. But discovery of what? We must turn. Get me out of this. Ah, just need to hold space, I think. There we go. Luckily, we are a hardy thing. We can just flip and dip all we want. We're in the Mako, man. We don't listen to no safety rules. Salvage the probe. And after we salvage it, we can salvage savage it. God damn it. I hate this minigame sometimes. And to the biotic compound. Huh. I wonder if those wildcat miners were annihilated by the biotics. The biotics just threw the wildcat miners entire diddly over a hill. They crashed and they died. But let's see how many biotics we have to kill before we can try and be Paragon. And pray to God that we can even try to be Paragon. Before the game is like, sorry. We expected you to max out your charm by the time you got to this. Because honestly, if this, if I can't do this, I don't think I have any side quests that I can still do. Even turn in, so I'll probably end up having to actually go main quest to try. And get more Paragon points. Like, again, it would be one thing if it was on me. Oh, I just uh, haven't put enough points into it. But no, I literally can't put any more points into it yet. So it's just kind of dickish. If you ask me. I love gold! Still hate the... TURN! Dear fucking God. The bunker is locked down, and then there's the big thingy. Since there isn't a hazardous atmosphere, I'll save out here and begin walking, actually. Can we do anything? No, but this is a bunker, so we're probably going to need a way to get into the bunker. Uh, there's a little shack next to it, but I don't think it opens. It does open. Which probably means that those other bunkers back at the place probably opened. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need I have to see Major Kyle. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the alliance. I'm here to help. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. Maybe he they kidnapped Kyle? The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. 
Father Kyle will speak with you. Head yeah. to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. All right. Granted, we don't get to enter there and get loot. But we can still go Paragon. I would have laughed if I was like, two more Paragon, and then I could upgrade. I would have loved it. I would have been happy. But this might mean that I have chances for Paragon. That is all I want, I'm going to save. Uh, I will make a overwrite save, just in case. A part of me is thinking that going Renegade might just be a bit easy. We can't trust the Alliance. Maybe, maybe not. But at least I don't have to shoot you. I am a happy man. I get to be I get to try to be Paragon. It looked like you were gonna run. The Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. And again. On the one side, uh, I'm not getting bounced around, but on the other side, that means I'm nobody's going to get to see me get bounced around. And that's content. But I'm Paragon. That's the downside of going good in most games. I swear, if Major Kyle turns out to be a corpse... I will be both laughing hilarious and... just annoyed. <laughs> but they don't seem to be minding that I'm taking all their stuff. So maybe I can go to the main building and take from them. Hello, Father Kyle. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? Where are the investigators? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Safe? They're not safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You can't help them now. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't easy. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Am I gonna have to fight the biotics anyway? Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I believe you. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. That is an ominous line, Shepard. Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. Can I? I can put one point in if I get enough experience. I can put one point in and then I'll have to bounce around all the various places to see if I can actually paragon my way out with one more point. And I swear if it's like, oh yeah, you just needed one more point, I'll fucking shank someone. It actually kind of pisses me off. But hey, a chance for paragonness. A chance for paragonness. At least I got more paragon.
And then since we learned that I can go in those, or at least I rediscovered that. I think I knew. I just, I'm dumb and I'm there. <gasps> yeah, we're gonna head back. Because there probably is, actually, you know what? There probably isn't anything important there. Let's go to the Normandy. And then I think I can probably go to my room to talk with them, maybe? Or guess not. Journal! Return to the Normandy. I guess then pick up the thing. And now I shall open the Galaxy Message Map, which in. is my phone. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. I hope you're to right. Be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Paragon till death. Just sad that I didn't get extra points for doing things. Oh, but now we can, uh, read. Presrop is the moon of Clindagon. It is a frigid barren world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The crust contains plentiful deposits of heavy metals. The Alliance has opened bidding for the moon's mineral rights, but exploitation will be complicated by the system's proximity to the five kiloparsec ring around the galactic core. The ring is an area of intense star formation and too dangerous to safely travel. Pressrop's landscape is a nightmare of jagged overlapping ridges and geological shock zones created by ancient disaster. This has not deterred the generation of illegal wildcat miners from attempting to exploit the moon's mineral riches. Unfortunately, many have lost their lives. Alright, now I'm gonna quickly jump out, look at my journal. Can't do you. You haven't shown up anywhere else yet. Can't do you. Can't do you. Wait. Yeah. Can't do you. Can't do you. Can't do you. You're just, hey, find a bunch of things. You're just, hey, find a bunch of things. You're just, hey, find a bunch of things. You're back on the Citadel. Find a bunch of things. Find a bunch of things. Can't do you. Well, looks like we're gonna go to, to Pharos for the Geth attack. Investigate Pharos to see why the colony was attacked by the Geth. So I can level up level up and uh ah pharos yeah so i can level up i guess i'll go to hercules just so i can actually that's one thing that maybe i should do go to random places because they call me when i enter a, a sector sometimes Message coming in like this patching it through normandy this is alliance command we're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. Yes. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. We need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Sure thing, sir. Survey. Heavy metal found. But the new metal could not kill the metal. Wow, this is a nice planet. Except it's toxic. We'll uh, look at it when we actually go to land. Medallion recovered. While scanning Seated, you discovered a large debris field in geosynchronous orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted several detailed sweeps of the area and detected a few items of interest, including a leak of one medallion encased in lead molding. And nothing? Okay, now let's read about this here planet. Or is it the other one? Nope, it's this one. Warning! Level 1 Toxic Hazard. Elatania appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Sadly, appearances are deceiving. It is covered by a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and like, uh, lichen or lichen, and possesses a thick oxygenated atmosphere. But the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native life to thrive. Unfortunately, they also cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by a non-native life. In short, settlement requires either fully sealed environment suits or replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited colonization at altitudes above the symbiote's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the area clear. Interesting. But yay, chance for level up to put one point into 
dear God, please give me so I can look and see. The problem is, to fully find out, I have to go through full conversations. And it hurts. And actually, I'm extra pissed off at the tombs thing because I picked a, hey, you have to put thing into charm to do this paragon option, and I still got renegade <laughs> at the end of it. Ah. That annoys me. Actually, since it's just over there, we'll loop around like that. I do not see how you can get a renegade PowerPoint after frickin' going through and selecting a decidedly not renegade option. But then I guess, oh, well, you shot him or something. Despite the fact that it was in the universally assigned Paragon Corner. You're going to put something in the Paragon Corner and say, oh, actually, this is Renegade. Wildlife died around this. Is this is the surveillance drone. But where's the data module? A monkey-like creature seems to have made off of the data module. Oh, this will be fun. I'll go over there for surveillance. And then I'll check out all the monkey colonies. This kind of works out, I guess. Did the monkey creatures beat each other to death over the data module? That's what it looked like. I hate that we always get out on the left side. Give me this gold. I think it look well I think it's gold. 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 And plus this helps put, this helps push me towards higher levels, which allows me to put one point into charm, which is what I require. Hopefully we won't have to annihilate monkey colonies to get the data core back. I have to check every single fucking monkey. That's, that's kind of ridiculous, game. Alright, let's try to not run over any monkeys. Because that's probably the renegade way of doing it. Shoot the monkeys, ask questions later. Kind of surprising that the monkeys just let us walk around their colony with their weird houses. They have houses. I think they're on the way to intelligence. They have houses. And like, obviously not growing trees. They're not trees just out of nowhere. They like are, look like built actual colony things. Maybe we'll actually be able to see if a monkey has the module or not, but I'm not going to take the chance. You made a different sound and that scared me. Oh. Also, kind of dickish to... Okay, maybe they are naturally occurring, but why only naturally occurring in these specific areas, making it look like they built them? Obviously they didn't, they have roots. But those things aren't found anywhere outside of these colonies. Making me think that the monkeys had to have had... Like seriously, you think we would found more places where they grow? 
but we, we don't. They only grow and they're monkey colonies where they grow. And if... I don't know. This is weird. I don't... The world building of this planet is lame. Where's my monkey war? Monkey... Monkey war over housing crisis bubble. <laughs> there's a there's a monkey house bubble. It's gonna pop and there's gonna be a war. Escaped doom. Nope. <laughs> Quit escaping my scanning, monkey. How do we scan you, but not that one? I'm here if you need me. Well, let's see if we can head inside. I hope we don't die. Enter the mine. Prepare for war. Why do we take our helmets off? We're in a mine, sure, but... Okay, surely... The monkey with the data core is in here. Are we gonna have to fight monkey husks? That would be hilarious, and I'd be down for it, but we're probably not gonna do that. Then again... Something Alliance made it here to build all this. Something Alliance made this and then the monkeys moved in. That implies something bad. I'm kind of annoyed that I have to look for monkeys inside of a cave. But at the same time, it makes it more interesting looking for a data core inside of a cave. There are multiple doors. I don't like that. And the music's going away. I think we're going to get ambushed. Surely, like... He dropped the data module. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. We Joker got Paragon for that. Transmit <laughs> this info to Alliance Command. Uh-oh. I think the monkeys are angry. Well, something is. Geth is going to attack, huh? Death Destroyer, huh? they didn't uh i was throwing bombs so i could have killed the monkeys hopefully the monkeys are safe i went through all that trouble and i think i got paragon points for not killing the monkeys i wish there was a way to actually check my paragon points and more detail but it's just like no just paragon <laughs> then again it probably look, works in sheets of 10 well all the monkeys are gone but it doesn't look like they think they're dead so yay wait did I, I forgot to look nope still one more charm how much to level up not terribly far, all things considered, but that is 60,000. We're at 57,000, so we need a few thousand to get up and <laughs> sadness. But hey, we killed a Geth destroyer. That has to mean something. And at least they decided to spare the monkeys. 
Well, at least these monkeys. All right, monkeys, clear the blast area. If we were super dickish, we could just destroy their homes. Accelerate that housing crisis. Commander Shepard, why did you cause a housing crisis for the monkeys? Because I'm anti-monkey. Whenever the loading thing pops up, it scares me. It feels like I missed something. But no, it just pops up. I don't think I need to look over anymore, yeah. So, like, coming here is kind of pointless, but... We'll head to the debris and then to the anomaly. I wonder, like, uh... If you get any bonuses for going into Mass Effect 2 and 3 with certain, like, stats maxed out. We found another probe. I think this one belongs to the Grey Men. They probed many anuses back on Earth. Fuck. Ah, damn it. My patience. I should have been patient, but I still made it. Fear me. I am the impatient patient man. I just realized something that angers me to my core. To sprint with the Mako, it's shift. To sprint on land, it's space bar. I just made myself angry. <laughs> I just made myself really freaking angry. I'm, yes, I'm sure that I could uh, change the, the key bindings. It's the PC version. But you want to know what else is spacebar? And what are probably tied together under that button functionality? Select. You want to... Uh, maybe they made it spacebar because they figured that tons of people still have sticky keys on or something. And that's why the shift to fly and run on the Mako is, like, uh, short, so you, like, let go of it relatively quickly. Is because, yeah, they're like, oh, no, people be sticky keyed because who? Why is sticky keys still a thing? It should be disabled by default. I don't even know why it exists. Because obviously it's not, oh, no, button is held down, or, oh, no, a button has been activated multiple times because it doesn't activate for any other button but shift. I am making myself angry. I am an angry internet. I locked my, oh no. For a moment there, I was scared. I thought I was gonna be trapped forever as a surveyor post. An effigy has been made of Cam Commander Shepard, marking the location of a random mineral deposit. It's what he would have wanted. He was a Grand Surveyor. Ah, fuck. Go up, Billy! Ah. Go up. Go up, damn you. I want up! I want up! I want out of this hellhole! <laughs> Kinda weird that they put a surveyor spot there. And then force you to do all this rock climbing. I just throw the Mako around. It's somewhat cathartic to see it fly crazily. Ah. Who needs to be efficient with the Mako? Let's go crazy. Commander Shepard, please stop driving the Mako drunk. I don't conform to you, the real renegade. Drive the real renegade action, driving the Mako 
badly. Go to the anomaly. 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 What'll be at the anomaly? Reese's pieces? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Promethean, no, not Promethean, Prothean. It's like somebody was just like, wait, Promethean was taken by a different sci-fi franchise. We can't use Promethean. Remove, remove the, the M. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari Consort on the Citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly, your senses return to you. As you wake up from a deep sleep, you are alone in the forest, though you are not as far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain and small lump on the back of your skull as if a chip of flint has been forced under the skin of your, under the surface of your skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. Your senses watch, you since it is watching you, studying you. It continues. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and the rest of your tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life. The hunt for mood. The, uh, the hunt for mood. <laughs> that is a mood. The hunt for food. The struggle to claim and keep a mate. The battles against the other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone. That some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your hand goes to the strange lump on the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder. Winter falls. You must ra uh, range farther for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of these long, long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. It's call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb you try to run. But a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you and all goes black again. You wake in an instant later and find yourself on Altania lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you, undamaged, and your companion standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light, and you, uh, and you sort of just toppled over. One up, uh, Garrus, I guess, explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. Tally. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of a crow magnon hunter captured an implement by an imp uh, by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did the study of the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you reply. Realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. Okay. Very interesting. Mako. Oh no, I thought pff, that's not what that's called, you idiot. It's still called the anomaly. Well, we got experience from that. Oh my god, I'm so close to leveling up. You'll be mine yet! I guess we have... Well, let's see. Let's go back. Kind of annoying that there isn't a quick get out of here button. Let's go. Journal. Yeah, I guess we finished that. Lost module. And the... Intel has been relayed to command, so that's done. Alrighty. 
then I guess we move on to the Geth attack. But before that, let's uh, talk to everyone. I'll go... You. Yes, Commander? Nope. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Carry on, Presley, before I murder you. Run up and dropkick Joker. Commander, something you need? How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. I was always My great. mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Arcturus Minsk? Time around what is with all these names coming over and over again? The Academy. And I guess that's it. I have to go. All right, see ya. If I just talk to people, maybe I'll get experience enough to level up and do the thing, and then I can just go do all those other things that I want to do. Oh. Happiness is potential, yes. Because how many am I away from leveling? Twenty-two! One codex. That is all I need. One fucking codex. Give it to me. Caden, we haven't talked in a while. I don't know why we always have to open with me walking towards you. Anything you need, Commander? Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where they know about the stonewalling you've had from the council. Good. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Whether I'll too flare up. You all right? Anything I can do? No, Commander. It'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Except for you, of course. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. Are they still around? I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they'd botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow experts the only experts would have to be aliens dead on turians actually that's why kinetics because ah, the then people be like ah the turians fought us think, asking the turians for help when we just fought a war with them why not the asari the asari would have been more acceptable than the turians yes but the company didn't go through the citadel it would have made earth look weak so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. And then, why couldn't we do it alone? Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Hmm. I'm sure they meant well. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. They ever bust the guy? Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history. Tactical appraisal? What's your opinion on the last one? Yeah. What's your opinion on the last one? I mean, if you like the bookish sort. We'll talk another right time. Ah, uh, no codex. We haven't talked in a while, Chuck was. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Liara. Once more, I walk up slowly. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. About you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, You've Commander. You've lived for like a, I spend over a century. I most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Hmm, you must get lonely. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. 
Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Why's that? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Hmm. I don't think it's foolish. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. It did explode in my face. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. <laughs> what? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. <laughs> uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Relax. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the <laughs> goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now well, you like you said, I you spend a lot of time. <laughs> time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. You just need to find the right Please, people to embarrass yourself around. This conversation never happened. Look it up. Goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Yes. 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 Makes immunity available for use more often. Uh, now we can go and try and do things. More things! Yes. First thing I'm gonna try is head to the Citadel. Well, actually, maybe I should head to other places first. I could head to... There's so many that I could head to and try. So many that I could head to and try. But again, I should probably talk to the dudes. Rex and Garrus. Me dumb. And Tally. Get to know my crew better. Garrus, you have anything to say, or...? Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salio, too. I convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. I'm happy my he words got to you. I watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Is that it? Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. That's great, Garrus. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. What about you, Rex? Shepard. Personal inquiry. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fire. It's what <laughs> I do. Oh, I thought... Oh, this is a continuation of the conversation. Aren't you what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. That's your reason? So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Sometimes. You ever think about helping your people? <laughs> I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. 
I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. Mercenary. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. You like it then? I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. The way he says Shepard when I leave makes it feel like he's trying to call me back, but that's just him saying goodbye. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Yeah, I just wanted to see if you had anything to say. I should go. See you later. Just checking up on the crew. And now, let's see. I can actually, <laughs> potentially, I guess I'll try Dead Scientists on uh, Newton System Kepler Verge. See if I can do that one. See if I can go to Fortuna in the Diddly D and uh, stop the last bit of the crime syndicate. And then there was like another one. All right, Kepler Verge. And the Newton system. Or is it Kepler system, Newton, something? You know, thanks to the higher uh, ability to load better, that's the better loading ability, it makes it uh, the loading screens actually enjoyable because you're not sitting there for like 30 seconds. Makes it very enjoyable. All right. Off we go to the underground facility. And hopefully this time we'll be able to go through it properly. Oh wait, everybody else should be leveled up too. Yes, I know what time it is. Shut up, Foon. More. And then I guess I'll just put more shotgun. Hopefully I'll be able to do it with Charm 10. It'll be ever so slightly annoying if I can't even do it with Charm 10. Yeah, we already checked out the Turian wreckage. But all I want is to not have to worry about getting the conversational dialogue quest endings that I want. Of which it is entirely possible if I don't level up my charm fast enough but leveling up my charm is dependent on both leveling up and getting paragon points but the best way to get paragon points is to already have the charm you need to get the paragon ending of the quest so it's a bunch of it's a lot of boondoggle is what it is doesn't look like they respond. No idea why the Mako decided to flip out like that. For some reason, I just remembered that I want to watch Wakfu sometime. 
sometime. Too many shows. I'm already watching... What's it? Uh, Avatar. Save before we go in, because we are scared. And plus, this means that if we... Just lead the way. Go in, and... We can't... Do everything because of Charm Boondoggle. Well, in the end, dippity do. Charm Boondoggle. Charm Boondoggle. Charm Boondoggle. I hate it. I hope it dies. Actually, I think I have an idea. Good job. You get sniper, you keep pistol. I'll bring him to us. Or are they not going to come to me? Oh, now they're moving. Stole a kill by defending them. How do you even do that? Eh. They're worn down. To me! Down, there's a bomb. Get out of there. Considering how much stuff I have, I really should just turn stuff into Omni Gel. Not even bother with this. Oh, yeah. And now I pray to God that I'm able to paragon my way out of this. Or else it'll be proof that I still need another Paragon boost to do it. Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Tombs, you're insane! It's Corporal! Let Corporal me help you. Tombs. What all comes out? I'm listening. But I need you to put that gun down. I can't you see that? But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the man. What did the doctor the I woke up in a holding cell. What kind of thing? Gotta go fast. They're... This is justice. This, this isn't man justice. This deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. I couldn't help then. Tombs, if I could have I helped can you, help on you cruise, now, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. 
Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. It's over. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Toom stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You get the scientist to shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. Hell yeah. And my ship did a flip. Not enough for another Paragon boost, but oh well. No idea why you did the flip, but okie doke. And we can fly away now. Boo yeah! We did it! Alright, now let's go deal with hostile takeover. Horsehead Nebula, Fortuna system. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Tomb seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fit fleet out. No problem. All right, Horsehead Nebula, Fortuna System. So yeah, I wonder if I just missed, like, a better Paragon, like, opportunity, and that's why, for whatever reason, I forget which planet is... Amaranth? Ah, we can finally read this one. Uh, Amaranthine is a chilly rock world with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its frozen surface consists largely of light titanium and aluminum oxides, with deposits of thorium and other heavy metals located in the deep crust. Amaranthine was named by the human poet Sophia Cabral during her tour of duty aboard the Alliance Surveyor Ship Coop. Under the dim light of the Red Dwarf Fortuna, the surface of this world is lit rich twilight blues and purples even at midday. Make me a paragon. Paragon till death. Paragoon till death. It's when the goon squad is sent in with pa like parachutes and paragliders. All right, now we head over to the engineering outpost. Where I can paragon the shit out of this cartel. Well, syndicate, whatever. Crime doesn't pay. When I'm on the case fund, I'll go a different way. Yeah, I... I hate the way that this moves. It's like the controls aren't like your typical, oh, if you press W and D, it will veer to the right as you go forward. Instead, it's like a frickin', if you press A, it's like it's trying to go directly that way. Like, every single direction is trying to send the, the frickin' Mako that way entirely. So it just defies all the other car experience I have with the keyboard. To the engineering outpost. To the engineer. Outpost. Gotta play with the suspension. That's how you know you're gangster. Or white. Close, we'll save and pray to God that we can Paragon. Paragon, 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 Paragoon. There was an explosion in there, creepy. Hello again, Commander Shepard. With my former partners dead, the syndicate. I'm not is now done mine. yet. I killed them because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. 
These crimes are hardly worth your time. Walk away. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? For now. You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a specter. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Paragon 8, Omnigel, lots of things. Still not enough for another charm point. Hopefully that means I'm close to the top tier of being able to do things. does mean that I don't get to loot the place, but you don't really get much. It's just more Omnigel and, well, stuff and stuff. But hey, with that out of the way, I think I'm going to head back to the Citadel, I think. Let me quickly check my dealie. Because you're on the Citadel. You're on the Citadel. That's just, hey, do more of this. Hey, do more of this. Hey, do more of this. So yeah, everything's on the Citadel. Except for the main. So I'm going to head back to the Citadel. And then next time, I think I'll just run around to the various places that aren't story. And uh, see what we can do. Because we might get more, hey, we heard you. Bippity ba. So yeah, that'll probably be my next plan. Just go from place to place for all of the things that... Well, actually, now that we're here, I'm going to quickly go talk to everybody. Except for Joker. He seems to be pretty content on just being like, Ah, my disease. Don't pity me. That, that's Joker. I walk up to you slowly and forward smash. Anything you need, Commander? Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense I've of wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. Goodbye. We'll personal. talk another time. I kinda wanna use Caden more, but at the same time I just really like the aliens. At the same same time, it I, I if it is true, I kind of like that it seems that you don't need to take the aliens and your allies with you to progress them. You just talk to them. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? What for, Garrus? For everything. I've thought a lot of and I've been... I really... You escaped under my watch, and I didn't Is like Is that it. it? Words mean nothing. Well, I'm I'll also... If the people I'm sworn to protect... It's very great. I'm glad you see Don't worry, Commander. I will. All right, at least that means that most things... Commander, How are we doing? What's your opinion on the last? I'm sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's oh. story. About Not everyone's as close yeah, to Yeah, that's too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they last. We'll talk later, will you? Looking forward to it, Skipper. So, yeah, nothing seems to have progressed. So, we'll go to the Citadel, talk to everybody, do everything, wander around a bit, see if there are any new, like, NPCs that I can talk to and stuff. And, pr well, actually, the real thing we're going to do is pray to God that the Rear Admiral guy will. Except my tin charm for all my paragonness. It is entirely possible that he'll just be like, haha, screw you. You need to be maximum god charming. You need to be prince charming to get me on your side. It's gonna be so much skipping with him. And it was literally the final Paragon check. The final Paragon check. But hopefully, we are over the Paragon... Uh... <laughs> gatekeeping wall. I'm kind of disappointed that my... Navigator and my human engineer... Don't have much to say. As usual, come along. Maybe I should have brought to Sony. I don't know. Equalizing Let me out. With exterior Let me officer. out. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. 
Exo Presley has the deck. Hello, my dude. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. Spare me the pleasantries. I can. And the council got their. Think of it as an opportunity. I, still... I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to She's the. She's not over design. I'm here to make an inspection. Commander. Please do. We'd be honored to show her. I'll... Wait here. I won't be long. Lots of skipping because we've been this way. Commander, I'm not happy. Sorry, I'm sorry about to that, hear sir. that, sir. Who designed that CIC? It's a Turian design. You realize it's useful. We can look and what are you thinking, Commander? They're allies. Between you have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? We need to build bridges, sir. I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I'd planned. Yeah. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. I did it. Two Paragon points would be hilarious if that pumped me over, but it didn't. Ah, that makes me happy. You seem to be attracting unwanted attention, Tally. Several passerbys were staring at you. That's just Let how they look at them. Many of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. It is natural for people to dislike rootless wanderers. If Quarians would just settle another homeworld, we would not run into such concerns. But they can't really do that without dying. Or at least risk dying. They already run into bacterial problems on the flotilla. So it's kind of difficult for them to actually settle down onto a frickin' planet. Let's see if I can just look and see. Doesn't seem anything. But I shall glance around. See if there's any highlightables. Can I talk to you? Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. I don't think there's anything up there. It's just the weird, like, prison cell and lockers that I can't access. We'll check in with the requisition guy. Wait, who are you? I'm going to save before I talk to you. But I did it. I overcame my Paragon check. Commander Shepard? Yes. Police have been seen in Aljalani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? All right. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. That looks very Star Wars as a probe. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Honored. The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? It's not like that. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Turians helped build it. Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? The crew is still alive. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hmm. I guess I'll say he's behind Eden Prime. Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says that Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard.
all of those Paragon checks and I didn't even get a single Paragon point. Requisition, dude. Hello, Commander. I need supplies. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Let's see. Unique. Take that. Any good snipers that outmatch? Any good armors? Now that's a fucking good pistol. 35,000, not terribly expensive. <whistles> ah, but it's basically a two-shotter. I don't want to go below three. Wait, but I am getting close to getting you. And you are a three-shotter. And you're basically doubled my damage output. Hamina, Hamina. I'll head up to the per... Well, I guess actually we'll head down to the ward. We'll head down into the ward. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. That is nice to hear that my actions are being reported on in-universe. My actions mean stuff. And my stuff means yes. Wait, uh, have we done Banes yet? I think we've done Banes. Everything just kind of hey, blurred together. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Dang it. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Actually, I want to talk to you instead. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Never mind. I, have to go. I do right. have to go. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. I wonder if that happened in real life, what people would think. Shepard is crazy. He just keeps starting and stopping a conversation. I just hope that, uh, saying that Saren was behind Eden Prime doesn't bite me in the ass. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. My, my, I chose to keep the medical tradition. Let me, Let me take a look. Course. Yeah, these are armor upgrades. Jesus Christ. Medical exoskeleton. It does do good. Reduction in power cooldown, better health regeneration, and 50% toxin resistance. That would actually be pretty fucking dope. And that's after all of the discounts that I have. Discounts with my charm. Discount from her, specifically in her quest line. Cha-cha-cha, Jesus. More than likely, we're not going to run into anyone specifically when it comes to this place of quests to Dewey. But still... I want to run around and look just in case. Maybe we can head to the consort and tell her what the doohickey she gave us did. Hey, good to see another human. <laughs> Doran, dance. <laughs> I can dance with Doran. Commander, thanks again for all your help. I'm waiting for someone else. Nope, nothing in flux. The reflections look weird. But so far, I am enjoying Mass Effect. Then again, I wonder how, like, what kind of percentage I am through the game. Because I just did a shit ton of side content. So I wonder if there's, like, if I did the majority of side content and most of what remains is just, uh... Okay, for a moment there, it looked like he was cornered and getting ready to be beaten by the science twigs. This is an important purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colony? Show me what you've got. Just taking a look at everything. Well, that isn't bad. Mine's better. 
though these guys do kind of scale with me. Conrad. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's there are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. I'll do my best. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I suppose. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you. And I'll have your picture. You say Just creepily. hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. I'm happy to make you happy, Conrad. I just hope that he doesn't ask me to kiss him one of these days. So it's a good thing I've been wandering around. I ran into Conrad. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things, I... Kind of weird that they... Like... Separate things a bit like that. But again, that he. Yes, human. You need. Yes. Yes, human. You need. What do you know about? I have me? never met him. Oh, you I just want to get to the non-human armors. Let's see, Turian, terrible, Quarian. Uh, not as good. Not as good, Turian. Terrible. Quarian. Mildly better than what you have, but it is 60, 76,000. Let's see. Mildly better as opposed to pretty better. Less shields, more tech and dam tech biotic and damage protection overall, though. But that would like train me. I don't think these are big enough jumps for me to care. Let's take a look around the Finch. I'm gonna say it before I talk to you. I just get a vibe of it. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. I'm sorry, who are you? Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we were Ah, this is my backstory. Weeks. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. My history is a matter of public record. I've got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the games? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. Reason for arrest. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. In Turian space. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. <laughs> expanded? They do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. Not jailbreak. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. No, pr no deal. No promises. No problem. No promises. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guards over in Korra's den. Take care. This of better this. not get me a and renegade. You'll never see me again. I just wanted to like get the. Okay, I'm gonna make a new save. I'm then going to reload and see what happens if I say no. That's all I want to do.
They told me it was you. If we met? Names. Maybe you don't remember your... My history. One of the Reds. Cur they declared him a problem. You're not... All we're asking you to do... Well... We do some salvage. Suit yourself, Shepard. If you change your mind, he's over... And Shepard, you might not run with the Reds anymore. But you really don't want us as your enemies. Let's see. Old friends. Ah, okay, good. I can say no, but continue it. I like how every time we come in here, Tally's like, huh. Turian guard. Can I help you? I've got a warning. A human named Finch wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Wiseman. The xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard in his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. This won't help you. If you want humanity to be strong, a smear attack on the first human specter is a bad idea. Yeah. The specter is right. This is humanity's chance to prove itself. There's even talk of earning a council seat. Of course you'd side with Shepard. You want someone who's in bed with your kind. You're wrong. We need the other races, Finch. That's the best way to strengthen humanity. Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. No, I shouldn't have. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of Spectre you turn out to be. Ooh, Super Paragon. Still not enough for another Paragon charm, though. I wonder if Par Charm 10 is maximum. Honestly, I wouldn't mind it, but after running into multiple barriers at the final charm slot, or at least the tenth charm slot, which may be the final one, I was like, I need to word myself better. Basically, after having nine charm, which is a lot of charm, and then running into, let's see, three, maybe even four barriers of uh, <laughs> Paragon charm, requirements because I missed one point kind of has me paranoid and on edge now but with that I'm going to damn it one to head to Presidium I'll head to the embassies so I can walk around talk to people Receptionist, what's going on? Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? Goodbye. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. I'm a specter. I'm here to murder. No, it doesn't look like there's anything new in here. But there is a quest in there. I shall save. Shepard, what can I do for you now? I'll be going. Goodbye, in. Commander. Just wanted to see if you had anything new to say. This place seems strange. There's a little more humans around. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the human specter. Yes. Is there something I can do for you? I ran into your sister. You're Nasana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. It didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... I know the truth. Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. <laughs> but I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. 
It revoked my clearance, or placed me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. I've got a better deal. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I like the deal of that. added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. Yes. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> and that was the Paragon option. Hello, Commander. Can I get you some information, mostly? Would you like to know about... So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. I should have known that kind of means that you're going to be part of a quest. Maybe. Like, anybody that you can talk to, like, especially... Well, I guess it depends if they have a name. Because uh, I think she had a name all the way back when we first got here. It's like, oh, sorry, I'm too busy. Him, him, him. And here I just went and did her quest accidentally. And I love that there's actual dialogue for doing it out of order. For actually going and uh, killing her sister early. And b because I guess the trigger for her to uh, talk to you is to become a specter. And then if you go back and talk to her, she'll, well, talk to you. I'll see if I can head in and talk to Great Miss. Hello again. The consort is very pleased with Can I get an appointment now? Any chance I can move up on her yeah, client list? She is... The client list is a separate matter, and <laughs> I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back any time. Okay, I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna see if I can go in. I don't know. It just feels... I feel good to save. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a pilot back on Earth. See if I can head to her room and tell her what the trinket did. The answer is no. I found a Prothean. Again, why is it not Promethean? Prothean. It just seems ridiculous. Again, Prometheans are a different species from a different sci-fi franchise that I know. I forget which. Maybe Alien? It's been five billion years. Commander, it is good to see you again. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, Hugh. View upgrades? Let's see. Ammo upgrade. Exoskeleton. Smash damage and physics threshold. So, huh. So these are like super expensive. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so. Devlon, I shall accept. And at least I got something out of that. More requisitions! More requisitions! That's where the AI we blew up. Let's see if Vorn has anything to say. Or Vaughn. Nah. Great. How can I, I should go? You? Dang it. Goodbye, Commander. I just want to skip dialogue and get to Great. another dialogue. How can this humble servant be of use to you? Goodbye, Commander. Oh, we can... I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. That's disturbing. I'm gonna save and talk to you, psychos. What is this about, a baby? I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca. 
but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Is there a problem? Can I help you with anything? <laughs> Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. That's your story. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. So that's kind of eugenics, but at the same time, their heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the alliance receives. Chance of disease. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. And danger of therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that 1 in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. Hmm. I'd say let her choose because even though the math says gene therapy is safer, at the same time there are still medical treatments for it if it is a 1 in 50. So whereas apparently there are on, at the same time, this could be an allegory for anti-vaxxers. Like, oh, but the internet says this. I don't know. I'm just going to say let her choose. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. It's still her choice. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then act like Then it. support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Yay, Paragon and level up. So it looks like Paragon Tim or Charm Tim is the maximum. Let's see. Put one into commando and increase my effectiveness with. Oh, I have an extra point. Then I guess I'll put it into spectre training. Assault rifles, electronics. Got two points. One there, one there. I think I made the right choice. Because I feel that one was less about, oh, the baby, and more just about getting the family to come together again. The un- oh, hey. Oh, I thought you were a person that I could talk to. You were just standing in front of the way sign. Bastard. find it hilarious that this is like the one keeper that we can interact with. But yeah, I'm loving Coming Mass Effect. In a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel. We've already heard this one, I think. Full-blown crime syndicate. It's not the interview I just did, which would be hilarious. I do the interview, I walk away, it immediately airs. At least it would mean they didn't have time to edit it.
Time to finish quests. Time to finish quests. Kind of weird that your quest marker is off. Yeah, talk to Garav. He's over there, but he's here. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? He's dead. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. This must be hard I'm on you. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Does that mean we brought the body back? Yay, more Paragon. I guess telling him that he's still missing would be the renegade choice. Which would be kind of funny. Ooh, Emily Wong. We'll talk to you in a moment. I'm waiting to speak with you. Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. It wasn't their Somebody fault. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this. I love that animation. Damn it. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Baines. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like. One of my... The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were... And can I help you? Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Sure thing, Kohaku. And Emily Wong. I just hope that, once again, I'm still paranoid over my... Uh, my interview. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. Yay! I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Traffic controllers. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. <laughs> Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Results of the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. Function of bug. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic and efficiency. Finally, the importance of story. Oh, Everyone there's a knows danger space bug. traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? And danger of the bug. This bug you want me to plant. Could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. We'll see. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Hopefully. I feel like I'm being played. Planting bug. Go to Citadel Security and plant a bug in the Citadel Traffic Control Center near the back of CSEC. Alright, back of CSEC. Not CSEC Security. But, uh, basically it's the... This CSEC. That place, yeah, with all the terminals. There are empty seats there, which is worrying. But at least that cut down on all of my diddly-dee. I'll talk with you, see if there's 
anything I can talk to about. Good to see you, Commander. I just want to talk to people. I don't want to bug the system. Luckily, safe scumming is an option. Yeah, why are there only three motherfuckers in here? But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight terminals, and they have three people here. Well, and a keeper, but that doesn't really count. Emily Wong has approached you. Inform Emily that we went and planted a bug. Hopefully it doesn't break anything, but that's why we saved. At least I think I saved. And even if I didn't save, I have plenty of saves that I can rely on to go back to and say, Screw you, fate. I do what's right through the power of time powers. Because if there is one thing that a paragon is, it's a perfectionist. Presidium, Citadel Tower. I did it, Emily. I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It's a good cause. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. I got Paragon for doing that. Yay. And I think that that should do it. Should do it. Don't think there's anything up at the actual council area. For me to do what? Oh, you just came into my view. I was like, I could look at person and do something, and then I looked at the name, and it was Tally. Still don't know why I got Renegade points at the first start for that sit, uh, not Citadel, but Dibbity D. Like, oh, you helped Crim Man, criminal. I agreed to go wipe out other criminals, and then... <laughs> it's like, come on, it was the obvious choice. Shut down criminals, and then shut down another criminal. Bam. I keep ending up with red guns. I don't mean to do that. It just happens. Gonna take the elevator just because conversation and news. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. We'll disturb all of their Prothean sites. But I think that should be all of the quests for now. Then we'll probably want to head to CSEC and the dock. And then next time we will just blindly jump around to various systems doing more side quests that pop up. But otherwise... We'll probably head on to the main story missions. I'm kind of worried about the captain, though. We haven't seen the captain. Wait, ah, I've almost forgot. I didn't go to the right side of the embassies. I'm a fool. Maybe the human ambassador and captain will be there. Good thing I thought about the, the captain like that. I didn't come to this side. Anything going? Please greet. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for Goodbye, you? Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the city. I still love the Alcor. The Earth Clan Spectre has returned to speak with me. 
Yes, yes. Good day, uh, Earth Clan. His mockery is hilarious. Hello. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. <laughs> Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you. And we all get judged on how you behave. Harsh. I'm saving the galaxy. Yes, Commander. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. You've already heard that. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Where can I find Admiral? La Is there anything else, Commander? No. Nope. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. ran into an invisible wall. But hey, at least we got to have a nice conversation with the ambassador of him telling us off. How dare you survive by destroying ruins. Next time, I hope you die instead of destroying the ruins. I don't think Presidium there was a way of doing it. are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That sounds... new. But wasn't added to any of my shit. Gonna quickly check up on the bugs since we're here. Probably won't do anything. Terminal overloaded. Could that have just been? Oh, that no, that's not the bug. That's the uh, the diddly do. That was the AI. The AI that was funneling credits. It overloaded and killed itself, but we stopped the o the actual explosion. And that's why they said, we're wondering what it was even meant to do. Because it was installed there by a greater AI that was uh, made by the Binary original smuggler. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with... Yep, yep, we've already heard that one. But we're gonna head back onto the ship. We'll probably fly off to a system. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Yeah, probably what I'll do is top to bottom all the stuff. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. But alrighty. Message coming in. Oh boy. Patching it through. Commander of Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. I did the best I could. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Yay. There is one other matter, however. Eden Prime. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. Sorry. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. So I did pretty good overall. But I knew the Eden Prime thing, but there was no easy way of handling that one. But yeah. What I'll probably do is... Next time, I'll top to bottom go into all of these that aren't the story ones, but why Pharaohs and Novarian Asteroid? Asteroid. I have to take... Wait. Oh, Paragon. I got eight Paragon for what I did anyway. Yay. So yeah, Novaria, Pharaohs. But what about the Asteroid? What's the Asteroid about? 
Protein data. I kind of want to go to the asteroid now. Just... Asteroid X57. Utopia and Asgard. I'll take a look at that there... Asteroid, since it's highlighted for some reason. But after that... I'll... Probably call it, because we've been going for way too long. This game is way too capti captivating. I love it. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Woot. Shepard, this is Admiral Goku. I found out who set that trap for my men. Yay. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. Those bastards An again. Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. We got one They've scientist. Gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. All right. This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Ah. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Stay safe, Kohaku. Okay, the plan is... Next time, we'll do finish off Kohaku's missions. Or mission. None of these are even researchable. But asteroid. Land? Alright. X57 is a metallic asteroid, originally located in the trailing leg green. Bing, blah, 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 blah. Recently, communications with the engineering team on X-57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited, and the asteroid is accelerating towards Toa Nora. All right. So the plan is, next time, we will do this asteroid, and then we will do... C Cerberus. Yankst system in Voyager cluster. So, yeah. That is the new plan. First, we'll deal with the asteroid in this place, check out Utopia, and then we'll deal with Cerberus next time. And after we deal with Cerberus next time, we'll bounce around the various things, looking for quests. And then we'll head on to the main story. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you'd like more, I also have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel that I swear content will come eventually, called Neon Icy Wings, and a archive channel for where all these stream videos eventually end up, for just like archival purposes and the like, called Neon Icy Games. And if you're already there watching one of these archives, then feel free to come on by to twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings to watch me play these games live. And if you want even more from me, I try to upload art occasionally to Twitter, Tumblr, Newgrounds, and DeviantArt. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to learn. I need to really motivate myself to draw more. All of those are at Neon Icy Wings on the various sites, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>